Okay. Hi everybody. <clears throat> I'm back on stream. Uh, I got a pretty strong table. There's Fadi B. Uh, that someone may know. Also fell for. I. It's a familiar name. I think I've seen it either on BGG or on the Gaia Discord. So, um, Fadi B did the rotation. Uh, seems an interesting map. There's this big cluster of orange um, planets, which is interesting. Um, there's a nice... Uh, Terrans looks look nice, but at the same time they it looks like they only have a half of the map. Uh, but probably they can start either here or here and then here and do some stuff. Mm, it's a planet type and satellites. Uh, the round scoring is pretty bad. Um, not definitely one that you can uh, heavily exploit so um i guess we have to look more at the tags there's a lot of scoring with the tags um the the gaia scoring tile is under terraforming which is not particularly uh, good for Terrans, but I guess they can manage. Uh, this style up here is usually um, uh, is usually something that that calls for um, ambas. Okay, so eaters are chosen. Uh, I think it's fine. It's uh, a safe first pick. Um, I'm not sure there was a better first pick except for Baltax. Baltax definitely were super strong. Um, I think at this point, Terrans will not be there. I guess it was either um, Itars or Terrans here. Unless someone the someone meaning fell for decides to go for um for geodens okay no he went for taclons instead of ambas uh taclons are strong in satellites uh, big buildings at the end it's not super strong for taclons but um So, uh, Baltax, I said. Baltax are interesting. Baltax are definitely interesting. I'm trying to figure out what the fourth pick is. Uh, I wonder if Terrence. Terrans are um, are viable if I pick Geodens. It could be interesting because I could uh, try to have a starting position that avoids Taclons. It's not that easy, though. Uh, I don't think gray, a sandwich gray, is going to be picked. Um, I think yellow will be the next best bet. Um, Hmm. 
Is yellow better than orange, actually? Hmm. Neither Baltex or uh, Xenos are good for... You know what? I'm gonna pick Gleans. And that's my final answer. Um... Uh, Sorry, um, I was I was out of time, and I, I was starting just at the end, uh, considering gleans and whether they were um, viable at all. Um, I think they kind of were. Uh, this deck is good for gleans, but they need to get a strong start in order to um, to get it. Um, I think the map is somewhat favorable. Uh, there's both. I'm in third seat, and there's both the um, the range booster and the dig booster. Okay, so they went geodance. Uh, okay, so as uh, gleans here, I was basically um, waiting for the first pick to show up. Uh, to decide whether um, whether um, whether I would be Gaia forming or not as Gleans. Um, at this point, I think I'm definitely going to Gaia form, which is admittedly um, slowing down my ascent on the nav track, but. It goes very well with the um, the four credits tactile there. So when I was considering Geodens here, um, I was pretty much uh, considering a, um, a an academy or lab start and going up nav. I'll tell the others that I'm streaming. Um, I have to admit that I kind of picked cleans for this show. Um, I think that Geodens here have to start with a um, with the dig, in fact, that's what they did. Therefore, I'm getting uh, the range booster, um, which means that Taclons are getting the the four charge. Um, I'm, I guess, uh, in second place, they were getting charge um, a charge booster anyway. Um, I think I'm kind of safe. May I mean they um they are probably taking the dig. Um, the uh, the the question is where to. Um, I guess it would be uh, strong for them to take a yellow planet because. Uh, simply because it's a planet type game and they want to secure one, but um, maybe they just want to take this uh, gray planet and um, and take more leech, or uh, they took the tour. Okay, so and that's what they did. Um, which is pretty fine. Uh, 
if I can get the dig action at this point, it would be great. But I think that um, it's the next um, Taclon's move, honestly. I'm pretty sure. I don't see a reason for them to not um, to not take the dig. Yeah, but then again, I think that okay, now this gray planet it's not uh, it's not very interesting anymore. Uh, also, Itars here started with the eye, which is uh, bad news for us because. Well, uh, because, okay, so they, they took the Great Planet uh, anyway, uh, even though um, ETARs are done upgrading. That's, uh, that was a weird move. At this point, I would rather have secured the Yellow Planet, but um, that is definitely good news for us. I don't think I'm burning tokens to take the seven credits, which is usually uh, good for a mine rush. I think I'm saving my power, um, my power tokens for Gaia farming later. It's not gonna come this round, but it's gonna come soon. It has to come soon because Etars are starting strong on it. Mm, I think it makes a lot of sense with the map that they go um, very early Gaia forming. Taking this great planet was also kind of uh, nerfing Etars to some extent. Okay. So Taklons is now upgrading away from the others, considering that um everyone is done upgrading so uh, i was thinking about my my range booster and where to use it i think it would be pretty good to um secure this planet but it's too late now Okay, okay, so uh, never mind. Um, Geodens decided to take this yellow, uh, which is okay. I mean, they were definitely taking one. I'm not sure I would have um, converted four power to, uh, to a QAC, but at least it makes more sense for me to have uh, like my, my booster. Um, my range extension makes a little bit more, more sense now. Um, I guess Geodens kind of liked this cluster. Also, they liked the other uh, orange planet. I think... Uh, I think... Geodens go Nav before they go Terra here because of the map. Okay, so... Uh, no, I think this has to be done first. I don't think it matters. I think I can do... in... Um, I can do it in any order. So this yellow planet was definitely very good for me, but uh, it's okay like this. So um, I'm not sure. I'm placing uh, three more mines, it looks like. It would have been cool to place an extra one. I can place another Gaia mine up here. Um, I think it's I think it's decent. 
I'm missing uh, one or this way um, to build all my minds, uh, but it's it's not too much of a problem. Meanwhile, Taclons are getting charged quite a lot. They will do their academy opening. Uh, they will take maybe all the steps on Eco. I suppose. Yeah, I guess. I would have liked to um, to take the terraforming action here, but it, it was impossible to have temp over Taclons. Came close though, but I'm really happy with the credits. Um, so that I don't have to worry about getting them next round. He just got a strong start. Maybe I should have built this one first. Because now Eaters are getting charged one. Um, at least I'm guessing that um, they build their mine here. And now it's the correct moment to do it because uh, Taclons is fully charged up, so they wouldn't be getting a charge. But what did they do? They didn't build a mine. That was weird. That was very weird. I don't quite get the why wouldn't they build that mine, especially since they could. Um, do it in a very profitable moment. Maybe they didn't want to give Geodens charge, and that's possible. And that's very possible. Uh, so we see Taclons starting going up. Um, navigation so they don't do uh, all eco I think their second uh, science step is still gonna be eco because they simply that gives them one more charge and one more ore next round is a trading station round I might consider building only trading stations and try to exploit the round scoring, considering it's it's kind of a bad round scoring. Um, but I think I I'm only doing it if I get uh, the the trading station booster. Okay, so uh, Taclons went up. Navigation. Uh, okay. And they have a QAC. Um, there's something to say about that. Because uh, now, with the QAC and the Dick Booster, they can reach this yellow planet, which is uh, kind of a bummer. So I'm basically considering really hard um, burning two tokens. Although I said earlier that I didn't want to do it, um, I am now considering it uh, really, really hard. Um, that would definitely delay my gear farming and uh, it might even never happen. This is a weird. This is a very weird move. Uh, 
but I think it might hold because I might be able to get uh, extra tokens uh, at some point. Although eaters are all, uh, are also very much after that tile. This is a very weird move. Uh, okay, so then I'm taking the, the trading station tile and I'm building three trading station. I don't think I will get the charge to, um, to build more. I also think three is okay. Four will, would mess a little bit with my or income. Which means that next round, I am gonna try and rush up the um, the navigation track and see and see where that leads us. So now um, Geodense is the only are the only ones who got the the yellow the yellow planet type, which is really strong for them. I think they will manage uh, pretty easily to get all the others <clears throat> because they like the browns are very scattered at the edge of the map, so uh, they will definitely be tackling so to at least one of them. Okay, now I hope that ETARs do something else before building this mine, but they didn't. Um, so I, I will have to charge ETARs a lot, but um, I would be choosing between ETARs and Taclons, so I don't know. It's, it's, um, it's hard. It's pretty hard. Eaters will have a very fast federation here. Um, and they might be aiming at the, at the navigation tile. Oddly enough, nobody went science. I think that Taclons were were supposed to. I mean, by supposed to, I mean that just that they uh, would have. Okay, so Taclons don't convert. Are they trying to get the um, the double dig? I guess that's it. Uh, which means that it's the right moment to um, to charge them. But at the same time, uh, I really want to upgrade here um, because I think because basically here I can't I can only upgrade um, one trading station in this area. And I want to make a federation next round. So I'm going to upgrade here instead. That's, that's too bad because it was a perfect time to charge uh, Taclons. I hope that Itar sees it and uh, takes the, the white planet. Um, in which case, I guess Taclons take the orange planet. Maybe Taclons take the orange planet anyway. Okay, uh, it just don't care. 
And this game is a bit strange. I don't really see... I mean, I don't think they are ever building a trading station here. I mean, they might with all the charge I'm giving them. Okay, so they, they go for the orange planet. That makes a lot of sense because, um, well, quite simply, uh, it, get, it gives them access to these two planets, which is good. Um, and gives them a lot of options to take um, a white planet as well. I don't think that's too, too bad for Geodens. <sighs> Although I, I am really wondering if I am actually faster than Taclons here to take the advanced style on, on navigation. They're building two extra mines, and that's about it, I think. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll play it slowly. If we lose this, uh, there's there's other tech to look for. It's true though that federating next round will slow uh, our um, climb up Gaia by a lot. Also, to do um, to do this uh, federation next round in the most efficient way, um, I would really need uh, one knowledge. I would need this booster. I would need Itars to drop this booster, but uh, that is not going to happen. They have too many moves. Still don't get what their plan is. Uh, otherwise, I'm taking the two tokens. The big building booster is, is nice as well. Ah, oh, interesting. Taclons go down here. They make a very um, far uh, travel. Uh, I guess it makes sense. They secure all these uh, area here. It would have been really great for me if I ever got an, a double dig, but I'm way too slow for that. Okay, so I'll make the last training station. And then it will be time to pass. Let's see what ETARs are doing here. I'm not sure I really have tempo on Taclons. Um, 
for that advanced style. But it's not impossible that they want to, um, to expand a little bit first and build out. They're also not that resource rich because they only took one step on economy. Uh, they will have a great worker um, or economy after after this round because they're placing lots of mines. But wow, okay, so um, Eaters went a long way to get this lab. I'm guessing as something that takes uh, them up Gaia because they need the tokens to place a Gaia former. Yeah, and then their step, where will it be? If their step is on nav, they can probably be um, very competitive for the, the top of, for the advanced style on, on navigation. They can take uh, this style and um, I think they probably want the um, the the points per Gaia. Um, I actually think that their uh, science step here is going uh, on science, um, so that they have a nice for uh, income for next round. In hindsight, I should have done things differently because now the the only good uh, brown planet to take is this one, but uh, I probably won't be taking it because I am forming a federation with three um, planets. Oh well, at least that's the, the plan for now. We just take the charge. No, I think I don't even want to take a, a power action. I want to um, to go as fast as I can with my with my possibly with possibly my federation and and try and win the the tile up there. The thing which sucks is that I'm going to have to take um, I'm going to have to take the uh, the two knowledge federation Okay this one is very welcome Unless I get the uh, charge so much that I can actually afford the two knowledge action which is not impossible. Let's see, let's see. I highly doubt that um, Taclons will be able to make a federation involving their um, their academy. And I highly doubt that um, wow, I do get the two knowledge action. This is good. Um, I mean, I guess that makes a lot of sense for them. Um, I highly doubt that geodens are going further up nav. I'm pretty sure that they're going for Terra. Um, although now uh, Taclons will place another mine here. I can see a federation coming with only two satellites with which they can afford, but it will be slow. Probably slower than mine. Okay, so instead, geodens are going up um, navigation. I guess they, they saw that they have tempo on the tech and... Uh, Uh, 
I don't know. We will take our time and uh, if we can do it, we'll do it. If we cannot, we'll do something else. Now, what that something else is, I really don't know. Um, it probably should be uh, going Gaia, Gaia forming. That's the thing that makes the, the most sense, I think. Which is not, uh, it's not bad, really. I can definitely place two Gaia Formers if I just do that. I guess the first move is taking the two knowledge power action and then and then calculating what everyone else is doing. Um, Geodens will need an extra step, a federation that they already have, basically, uh, but they need to take another tech. I mean, actually, they're at, in the same spot as me. Um, it's the same spot as me, and they actually have less uh, action because they already have one step, extra step on navigation. I wonder if their second federation is coming soon enough that they... Um, that they can also win the top of Terra. Because if they take this style but they don't get the top of Terra, that would not be um, super great for them, I think. Okay, so let's see what ETHARs are doing. I'm guessing they're taking just this deck. No, they're taking also that. Oh, they have two techs. Yeah, because they already spent. So they okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think we are left with the QAC track. Or or advanced Terra. I don't know. We we will definitely be slow. Climbing whichever track. So can they Geo then can Geo then build uh, two research lab this round? They need uh, five eight or which they can get because they can they will take this and they need uh, well they just need to be charged a couple of times. I don't think it's impossible for them. But on my next move, I really, really need to um, to figure it out. I'm not sure I would have gone up uh, navigation as geodense. I um, I get the um, wanting to contest the most contested tile, but 
I really am afraid that Taclons will just take uh, Terra away from them. Although, although the technology setup is not that um, that well placed for that. Okay. Okay, so they took... Now this is interesting. They took planet types to knowledge. Now this I understand a little bit less. My best guess is that they can go once up navigation and once up intelligence and they will get charged uh, once uh, like that, which means they will be able to, um, to take the 4QAC action. I think I'm still going up. Uh, I think I'm still going up navigation and not doing uh, Gaia project level three just yet. I hope that doesn't turn out to be a mistake. I think I can give some power to uh, to eaters. I will have to anyway. I'm giving it to Taclons as well. I forgot that Taclons had built there, uh, but I still prefer not to give it to. Um, to geodens. Okay, so we'll be taking this one. I also need to secure a six credit federation fast enough. That is probably not the hardest thing. Eaters are now all the way up the Gaia track, but they don't have tokens, so they... Well, I guess they're placing two Gaia Formers, but that's about it. So Fadi moves up terraforming. Okay. I guess I am actually getting the advanced tech on Nav. After all, looks like I hope I'm not mistaken at least. I think um, I 
Oh, I get more charge. Hmm. I think I want to secure this guy this round. I know next round is going for mines, but um, I really, really, really want this one. Although uh, Geodens are taking this round for sure, um, like in two moves. That is unless uh, Tacron secure it, which they can do. In which case, Geodens can take this brown steel, but it's not very good. Or this one, which is decent. So maybe Tyclones do not want to waste accuracy to get this one. Okay. I will need a lot of credits, so I will just convert to credits. And... Uh, I will research first. No need to take the um, the federation first because I have enough credits. I will really need the credits federation. I will really need the Credits Federation, um, but I also really, really want the the two tokens. But maybe I just I'm I'm just not gonna form in next next round this round. I'm just waiting another round. Um, maybe with this style, I'm just taking a step on economy. That would go well um, with my plan. Or maybe it's still a step on Gaia so that next round uh, I can reliably get to step four. <clears throat> I'm not sure I can though. I'm really not sure I can. It feels very, very scary to uh, to just leave Etars B on the Gaia track. But they did burn a lot of tokens. Mm. Still, uh, I guess this round they are not burning, and uh, next round they're placing another free guy former. So that's five more Gaias that gets them to seven. Another three for the last round that gets them to ten. 10 Gaias, it's 30, 30 points for the tech alone. Um, the top of Gaia, this tech is good for guitars. But then again, uh, then again, I'm really slow. Like if I go up Gaia, I don't really contest guitars much. I just take a couple of Translim planet, but that's about it. I will take the Gaia mine first. I hope somebody gives me charge for the dig here because that would be great.
I don't see how or where. Mm. I really don't see it. Taxons are building something, but not near me. Um, probably. Also, Taxons may just end up taking the dig uh, before me. But if I can get it first move next round and take this orange planet, um, I am good then. Judens already took their first um, two KC actions, uh, which is fine. They, they already have five planet types. A clean eight points. It's a very classic Judens game with these three tracks. Uh, we see that Taclons um, are wanting to secure this style. I think, uh, well, I guess. It was well spotted by them that they wouldn't have been able to really contest this one. I guess um, that that was a correct evaluation by them. Okay. So, where do I take this step? I want to take the Lost Planet next round just because it scores uh, two points. I can take like terraforming level one, which lets me build a trading station. I think I'm just going economy. I think economy is right here. It feels right. It's a bit late, but maybe I can end up taking the level five, which might turn out useful in the late game. I think I stand a very good chance uh, in getting the dig. By the way, um, Judens took the dig booster, which is odd. I'm basically fine with any of these. I think the best one might be the the credits. I would definitely need the credits uh, credits the most. But at the same time, this one is gonna be more. Oh, I don't know if I'm building another research lab. To be honest, uh, I'm not really sure about that. I think I really need the credits here. Let's see what Taclons are doing now. They passed. They passed without using their QACs. Uh, so they weren't interested in the in the four QAC action. They are probably spending one to get this guy up. 
Ah, so I didn't see that. Um, okay. I was about to say that I didn't notice that Nitars would have been able to take the um, uh, the dig, but uh, they got the guy instead. They go all in on Gaia's. Nobody took the 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 research lab booster. Is it possible that I can get it next round? It does seem very, very unlikely. I would like to score some. I think on planet types, I'm getting six point easily because eaters don't look like they're gonna strive for it. I'm gonna have the lost planet. Um, I might end up with a double dig somewhere. Um, satellites, on the other hand, uh, seems seems really really hard. First of all, because I don't have any. I can take my time. I think I will end up building a research lab. Or maybe I want just so I can um, I can go fast uh, for the for the booster. Although if I build another research lab, then I don't really need this booster because I will get the the extra knowledge. Um, I will be able to take uh, like the four charge and go up eco. The best thing here would be uh, getting the double dig somehow. That's really hard because I also would need an extra um, an extra credit. So I need a bunch of charge, which might come around. Not entirely sure of it. Also, I can just, I can just make another federation now. There's still um, a credits federation. I'm also getting charge. I am also getting charged. I think I am making another federation. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? Um, well, I'm not taking the double dig if I make the federation, though, am I? Still, it seems um, it seems very good. It seems, uh, yeah, because with this stack, I mean, it's best to have a federation earlier. I think I'm in a good spot. 
I don't think um, my end game scoring looks very good. I think it looks pretty bad actually, to be honest. Okay, so the coins are gone. The coins are gone. So I think I'll just take the tokens instead. I think that's better than the ore. Like this. Oh no, I didn't need to convert it now. I always get ahead of myself. So I will have a decent number of satellites because I will try to connect this. Uh, this to okay now we see the problem with the um with the federation uh which is if i also build a lab uh, then i cannot make an academy in a position that uh, that is interesting for me. Yeah, um, I mean, maybe I still manage to uh, to pass early enough that I can take uh, the lab booster. Which would be the best thing here. I mean, I can pass in two moves. Form a federation. At this point, maybe I I actually prefer the um, the or no, I think I prefer the token still. I think I still prefer the the tokens. I for yeah. I didn't select one of the buildings. Oh come on. I'm not a fan of this system of form federation, it seems. I mean I'm not sure how you would make it faster, but this one is definitely a bit fiddly. I think I can pass first because eaters. I don't know if they want to take their step somewhere, but they definitely want to take uh, place their gear formers. Um, Geodens probably want to secure the federation here, and probably also form another one. Maybe not. 100% sure about that. Um, yeah. I would also probably like um, getting uh, some QAC so that maybe next round they can manage to. Um, to, um, to take a two QAC action.
Eaters don't have many points right now, but they are coming. Um, I still don't think I can really beat Eaters here, but I hope things will change. Some steps up Gaia might still be interesting next round. Because um, because that also gives me satellites, which I which I really need. I'm not sure I want to make any other moves really. I don't see anything I want to do here. I will need to get five charge. To um, I could only build a trading station, but I don't see why. I think I'm first converting and then passing. I don't think that's too early. And I think I'm making both my big buildings in the last round. I won't be sitting on the big building boosters, unfortunately. But... I, uh, I don't really like taking it now. Okay, so Eaters could take this white planet in round one. They delayed it forever. I mean, they had their own plan, but... Um, still. It looks like they could have used that planet. I wonder if Eaters would go uh, further up science. I'm kind of guessing they will. Seems only natural, which means they are probably, if they ever have enough structures to make four federation, they can take all of this stuff, uh, which is very, very great. Uh, but even if they don't take this or this, depending on which um, scores more. Um, they still have a lot of uh, points coming. They have 18 uh, only from um, from Gaia Mines. They still haven't made a Fed. I'm two Feds uh, ahead of them. So let's say they make up 16 plus 18 points. That's already uh, 34. 34. There, it's like, yeah. There, it's like they they are um, at a very similar score as me. Um, we'll have to see what. Uh, How will um, the booster tile turn out for them? But there's a lot of scoring available. I really, really doubt that they won't uh, land on something um, very good. Also, um, Geoden should not be underestimated because they um, they are alone on Terra. They will get this advanced style for... Uh, I mean, I want to say 15, but at this stage, it looks like they have some hopes of getting it for 20, which would be um, very, very strong. Mm. 
but yeah, anyway, I don't think it's ever possible that um, that ETARs all along Gaia and science don't don't have this. It's um, it's just too much going on for them here. I think I should, in hindsight, I think I should have taken this uh, this step I took on Eco. I think I should have taken it on Gaia, even if I was placing a Gaia former. Uh, if only because I would shoot up Gaia faster and pressure Etars for at least one of the two things here. Uh, Yeah, now I can't really do much about it. I think I will take the double dig. I don't really need uh, extra resources. Also, the QAC track, I mean, uh, there's this style under it, but it's already very crowded there and uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm getting any QAC action here. Hmm. I could also just take a single dig and take the wrong planet, just so I have it. And then the double dig will come later. Double dig is probably not very sought, sought after, so maybe I can just take the charge four and go up economy and get it. I think it's correct to take the brown planet. Although Taclons are um, are probably now starting to go up Terra and uh, yeah, they'll get both um, the the two planet types that they can take uh, going up to seven. I still might make it to seven though. I think I'll take this brown planet. Um, I really hope eaters are not interested in the double dig, but I think they are not because they have a lot of um, Gaia planets to build. Um, so yeah. I think it's unlikely that they're building another mine. Also, they don't really reach any, uh, oh yeah, they reach a red planet here, but yeah, I don't think they're doing it. Still, I think it has a uh, winning. Okay, so uh, Geodens build a lab. I 
My children still missing. Yeah, just a great planet, but there, there's plenty of them. Which technology are Jillian's taking? The seven points? Is that what they took? Yeah. To go up the QAC track. Okay, so now they will either take the risk of fed or the two QAC. And instead, uh, Eaters just took the two QAC, the two uh, step dig. Uh, well, can't do much about it, unfortunately. That is in saying that um, he thought that if it were stronger here, we didn't really see see a good start for it. Probably had a good start. They would probably get this uh, this stack for fifteen very early, or maybe they just go up science. I don't know. Tacrons also have lots of points. my lab just go up eco Yeah, Iris definitely would have had a good start here. Still not as strong as um, Etars, I think. I really don't understand why it has spent five power to to take this mine. I don't think they need it. Uh, I think they now are a bit in trouble because they need they need to build. Um, no, okay. Now they have all the resources to build both gear farmers. But still, uh, I don't know why they needed an extra structure. At least, if anything, I would have taken a, a planet that was two steps away, like this. I don't really get why this one. Um, okay, I'm making my lab. I think I'm taking the charge four.
I will have the fastest round. Uh, so I'm ob obviously not taking any uh, scoring booster. Okay, just make the f the first federation. So now their score is gonna start. Um, uh, become closer to to everybody else's. Julian's kind of went slow on on Terra in the end. I think I'm just gonna research here and take some power action, so I'll skip conversion. Judens take the top of Terra. Uh, I think they have to uh, make a federation this round. I also think they are not really making um, two more federations. It doesn't seem very, very likely. Which is a bit awkward. Hmm. Maybe in the end, Tactons are gonna get uh, the advanced style on Terra. And if they do, uh, they are also a uh, threat. So maybe I don't even get second place here. They are also have, getting a lot of QC actions. Tacklons are definitely um, a threat here. In hindsight, this rush for the advanced take on NAV, I mean, I think it was good. Honestly, uh, but I also think that I should have gone up Gaia and scored a little bit more with Gaia's. How am I doing on planet type? I'm at five. Well, I now won't get the chance to get the, the, the two step twice because I missed it this round. I wonder if Eaters want, uh, wanted to block me and that's why they took it, but... Also, Great Planets are finishing. Hmm. That's a bit awkward. I don't know if I'll get, basically I only have this one that I can get now. I'm not sure that at the start of next round it will be there. I think I'm going to take the two uh, tokens here. The ore was good as well, but maybe I get some more charge. If I get enough charge, uh, well, that would be a lot, but the, I now have six, seven tokens, which may let me uh, get the, um, the three um, knowledge power action.
Maybe Geodens can get by with only two um, Federation here. They are winning planet types after all. I'm not sure what they're doing next round. Except getting a QEC action. Okay, I will charge four. Hmm. I can. I think Geodens are now building their academy, but I'm really afraid that it will be their QAC academy, which would mean that I don't really have another stalling move. Taclons have a couple of actions to take, so I think um, I don't think they will pass early to get on a booster, especially since uh, if they let me pass for something, they get my booster, which is uh, very, very good as well. I think Geodens are now just building their academy, taking advanced style on um, Terra and going up the QAC track. I don't think they are taking the QAC, the 4 QAC action. I think they will save QACs for next round. It seems more likely. So how many satellites do I need here? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have seven, which is okay. I will also get the top of, uh, of economy. Um, I, I'm starting to think that I can afford um, some weird move, some weird stalling move. which would be um, burning two to take two R. I, I know it looks like a very weird move, but um, if I do that, uh, I'm basically ensuring that I pass after Geodens. Which means, which means that I'm getting some uh, scoring booster. The problem is that now Taclons are getting ready to pass. They basically can uh, do one more move and then pass. They might also skip the QAC actually to get on the big building bonus. That I, that's what I would do. Um, so is it really worth it to try that hard to? Um, to win some tile. I'm not getting Geodon style anyway. I don't have anything decent to pass either. I mean, the two tokens is second best, I guess.
I think I will still make the trading station. I will get the uh, the top of Eco anyway, so um, I think I will manage somehow to to build uh, both academies. Somehow. So either is what I, I mean, they're either building a, a Gaia mine or or they're passing, I guess. Or oh, sorry, or they're placing a Gaia farmer. Okay. When they pass, they will already have nine Gaias. Wow, I think I miscounted the Gaias that they were getting. They may have 12, which means that the top of Gaia will be worth 16 points alone. Definitely very, very strong. I think the weird stalling move is still worth it. After all, this is probably gonna be eight points. It's very, very weird move, but that's what we're doing now. And now we'll see if Geodens take uh, the 4 QEC action. Uh, it would have been completely useless. And it's very possible that they do. The only good reason to not do it is that, is that they would miss any um, QAC action next round. Okay, in fact, they don't do it. So Taclons now have to um, give up on a QAC. If they want to take the big building booster, um, pretty sure they will. Although my booster is only three points worse. Okay, never mind. Um, I think they could just have waited for mine, but uh, that was also um, better for me. So. I understand. I I understand the move perfectly. They also didn't convert the, despite charging a lot of power now. So they, they really really wanted the booster. Again, um, I don't think that Itars would have passed before um, placing their guy farmers. And um, and I think it was better to deny Etars this booster 
them to uh, to give it to them. I mean, for the three extra points, I don't know. Then again, maybe it's it's more than three extra points because in the end they won't be able to um, to build uh, both research labs. They're not that rich. Actually, okay, so now I definitely want that two tokens. Um, I think I can start by doing this. I think it should be this one first. I think I should be able to... Uh, I have all the coins to get um, a trading station and another academy I'm pretty sure I have enough I really hope sound one is giving me one charge. Oh, where did they build it? There? I'm getting way too much charge. Uh, we'll take it still. I think I will have lost um, the two tokens to um, to Taclons, but I could also build an extra mine here to have more satellites. But then it becomes really expensive. I would have two more satellites, which would cost me two extra ore. Mm. Students are probably not doing anything with the extra resources. They're just going to pass. That has to be like the... I uh... oh, know, they still have to uh, to build a great planet. Forgot about that. Okay, so Taclons left us this because they took the tour, which is fine. It's more flexible for them, I guess. Then I will want to um, upgrade this mine before they make um, their planetary institute. Although I'm, I f I'm uh, really afraid that, they, that it would be their next move. It's very likely. Should I take? Well, I mean, for one point, I will take it. We'll see if it was worth it. Let's 
so Judas will basically make uh, another four science points and then they will pass we don't have passing points they will have 36 uh, so 140 um, 144 uh, 154, 160, 162, I think. I don't think they're getting points for satellites. I think they're 162 for a two uh, federation game is pretty nice. So, so uh, kind of a big score. I think I have more than that. Okay, so it was too late. They made their PI now. I also have to secure a 12 points federation. Hmm. But at the same time, it would be bad to, um, to be too inefficient with the, um, with the power charge, especially since I since I spent VP to charge. If I don't get a twelve pointer, maybe I get the advanced stack and um uh, No, I will decline all charge now. Maybe I get the advanced tech. I don't know. And then I will be able to make one more academy and one more lab as well. That I don't know. I don't really want to do the math. One thing I would really want to know is whether I am, where I'm at placed uh, in satellites. I think not very good. Um, not very well. I'll go up there. Okay, so I said I'm having nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 12 satellites is really not a lot. Mm. Eaters are definitely doing more than that. I'm not sure how yet. But I think, well, just like this, like this relation is what one, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, they have to do this. Oh, it's a lot of satellites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, the the nineteen satellites I think is swimming. Uh I think I have to convert like this. And then spin. Uh, 
Not sure why Taclans took a step on economy. Probably because they wanted uh, the power charge. They are probably going to build a um, lab for the seven points, I'm guessing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I have two more federation. They are already at 83 points. Okay. I really hope I can take the um, a 12 pointer. I think it's possible. I think Itars wants another green federation. To be honest, I think they want to top science, uh, science, Gaia, and I think they want the advanced Gaia tile. We have to form their federation now. How many satellites did I say they needed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, okay. Now I know. Oh, okay, they could make it like... Oh, I missed that they could make it like... Oh, so, so it was less than 19, it's just 16 satellites. Um, Um, they're done with the federations. They still have a ton of points to make. It doesn't look like their, their booster is going to be worth anything. So it's time to start thinking about my final score. If I do everything that I want to do, uh, I should be ending the round as at, at not a lot over a hundred. I should do 90, 98, another 12, it's 110. Oh, and I have this, so 122. Well, that's a decent in-game scoring. And I still have 24 of signs, which is not too terrible, I guess. Okay, okay. I'm trying to see now if uh, if I can make both a, an academy and a research lab by taking the advanced style, but I don't really think so. I mean, 
I probably can if I go a step on Terra, but then it doesn't make sense because it doesn't give me science points. So basically I will need to um, decide right now how I'm converting uh, my power. I do have all I need to build uh, an academy. Yeah, I think that's... I'm just converting... wait, 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 wait. I can do this, which is even better. A little bit more resource points. Could also have taken the two knowledge and then the knowledge federation, but it looks like it's less points because I'm not really doing anything with the QACs that I get that way. Geodense. Geodense I already counted the points for. Um, Ether is too complicated, they have too many coming. Way too many points. They will have a decent science scoring. Uh, I'm guessing 36. Uh, then I don't know, but let's say 30 between the tech and Gaia. So that's an 130. Um, They also have the seven points to take. So they probably, uh, it's more 140 plus 18. Hmm, maybe they're not making that many points, to be honest. Okay. Time to convert this and these like this. And now time to form a federation. Twelve points. Let's cross our fingers that we didn't miscount the satellites. Two four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, always good. Skip conversion, and we're at a hundred points. Twelve more to make within the round. Also, I actually miscounted earlier. I have, I end up at, it's more like 130. I don't think Taclons is making many satellites. I think he's making six more. So I have second place on satellites. Maybe I can win. I mean, I can win over Taclons. 
Although it did, like my rough calculation for ETAs didn't look that well, honestly. Um, they look weaker than I thought, but then again, I, I did make mistakes on my own. Um, on my own counting. And also it doesn't look anymore like they're uh, like they're taking this style. They're probably taking this style. But they don't have any money. Hmm. They also need a step to go up there. I think eaters do not have that many points. By the way, uh, Taclons used to be at like 80 something points, like almost 90, and now they're down to 77. They must have taken uh, quite a lot of charge. Okay, I'll make my QAC. And then I'll have my last move. I'm really curious to see what um, Eater's Endgame look like. Um, it, it seems that they don't have really anything left. They end at 97, which means 109 with their booster. They have very poor, I think that Taclons are not a threat. I think we, we might win this with Gleans against Eaters and Taclons. And Taclons got charged quite a bit. Uh, no, sorry. This one. Well, okay. And I'm taking the seven points. Oh, nice. I end with 15 resources. So it's five clean points. Well, I also get in two more resources that I'm not really using here. So we'll pass with 132, 159, um, 160, 71, 77, and uh, finally five points there, 182. I think I won. So, um, okay, now I, I see uh, Eater's Endgame. 
They are missing one. No, they have everything. Okay, I pass, I'm done. Should be 132, yeah. This is an, uh, was a nice and interesting game with Gleams. Um, where basically uh, I was oscillating all the time between uh, things I wanted to do and and ended up doing uh, nothing that I planned well maybe um, I did kind of plan on getting the the, the, the nav advanced tech if I could but um, oh 179 I thought it was 182. I miscounted somewhere. Okay, but I really, really planned on Gaia farming. Um, like Gaia farming seemed good here. Um, Yeah, it's it's very surprising to me that Etars were alone on Gaia. They got what was it, ten Gaias? Well, they could have gotten one more, so they actually missed uh, four extra points, but it didn't matter. Um, well, three because they have one resource point. Um, but yeah, usually. Uh, Usually, it um, uh, one faction one faction alone on Gaia is is way too strong. Um, even more if it's Etars, but I don't know. It the whole game it felt like um, I was doing the the right uh, the right thing. I would only have gone Gaia if um, Geodens claimed uh, the advanced style on Nav, but I think it would have been worse scoring wise than here. So yeah, I'll maybe review this game later to see um, where it has made mistakes. I think I point I pointed out some strange moves they did. Uh, throughout the game, but yeah. Oh well, um, I think it's it's all for now. Uh, this I this one I'll probably upload on YouTube because um, it's rare to see good clean games, so that this one might be an interesting one. Um, and I'll chat with the other players now um, about the game. So, bye-bye, and to the next time.